Hey guys, Arcus here, and today we're going to be going to the training dungeon. But before we go on the training dungeon, I want to show, because I have a guide here. I got this from Reddit. Um, I want to show off exactly like, the guide to what I'm going to be following while going through this. Now, I don't think I have... Do I have every unit on here? I don't have every unit on here awakened. Like, I don't have Death Pierce awakened at all. Um, let's see. I don't have Matrona. I don't have Matrona. I don't have Veron I don't, not Veronica. <laughs> Vivian. I don't have. I got her, but I don't have her awakened. I don't have Matrona, and I have Death Pierce awakened. Red Gilly is not awakened, but every other unit on here I have awakened and ready. So that's good. Uh, except Loney. <laughs> I just didn't want to invest into Loney. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be following this guide, and we're gonna get started with going to the training dungeon. Okay. Let's open it up. Wait, do I even have sound on? No, I don't. Uh, that would be a good idea for you guys. I have sound on. That would have been nice. Okay. So, recharge is after five days. Okay. Let's enter. This is the first time going in the train dungeon. I don't think I'm going to be able to do the hard one. Uh, so, an amber battle. Chosen, select which enemy you to battle against, but in the combat, warning, battle adds in her enemy which you can be battled against. Two level 1s, two level 2s, and level 3. Illusion Amber appears, so now one, clearing a goddess Amber fills the gauge shown at the top. Illusion Amber appears in the gauge clearly filled. Clearing Amber is a higher difficulty, cause the gauge to fill faster. Rare rewards such as equipment and graving stones can be acquired from Illusion Ambers. Illusion Ambers are your own team. Um, it's basically illusion. Uh, the illusion is just you're facing an illusion version of your own team that you use during the training game. I'm pretty sure. It's why you don't want to use your best units all out. You want to spread them out and just basically spread out your units as far as possible. It's if you play Dokkan, it's kind of like Battlefield, where you don't want to use all your best units right away. You want to spread them out for so you don't. It's so you have more viability to play overall. I just realized the display capture was still on. <laughs> okay, so this is training cave. We have a level one. We have two level ones, two level two, level three crystals. Uh, once you complete nine battles, I'm pretty sure is one like these. Once you can beat three battles, you get this. Beat six and beat nine. Okay. Uh, let me look at level three real fast. Let me look at the level three. Oh, it's him. Okay. Let me pull up. I see. Let me pull up the guide real fast. I have the guide over here. Oh wait, no, that was just... <laughs> I have the guide on the screen, I don't have fully awake and that's what it was. Okay, so for him, the best is Gustav, Green Elaine, and then Green Escanor. You want to freeze the boss, get extra turns, and use Merlin passive to gain a fast ultimate to use high damage to chip with help with Escanor. Okay, so we're gonna... I think... I can think... Hold on, let me look. Because I can exit the battle if I wanted to. So we want to have... Where's my Gustav? Uh, there he is. Hello, Gustav. And then, where's Green Elaine? There she is. Uh, my Green Escanor, right there. And then it said Merlin in the back for Ultimate Gauge. What I think I would do instead of have Merlin in the back... Um... I think I might put some Nels in the back? Let me see. Hold on, let me look around. Hmm... You know what? Let's put... Wait, is he good for anything else? I think, I'm thinking instead of Green Merlin, what we're gonna do is eat an old cage food instead. Because just to get that same effect, so we can save Green Merlin for something else. Now that I... Uh, associates don't matter, you can associate as many times as you want. It's just your main units you can't use as many times as you want. So doing something like this is fine. Uh, no, we're gonna do Green Merlin. And then we'll do a higher level help room. He also has one ult level into him. That is barely above 90,000. Let's get started. Okay, so. Basically, I just want to freeze the boss. And to get ultimates and just basically a high damage ship with Escanor. I'm pretty sure Green Lane's there just to stop his ultimate. Uh, what we're going to do is so we're going to go ahead and get his ultimate ready. So we're going to do this, combine these two cards, and then use this level 2. 
This is what we're gonna do, because we wanna get his ultimate right away. Um, let's hope I draw a freeze card. I did. Okay, so we're gonna do a level 2 freeze. Ah, he hits just as hard as he does. Oh god, that hit hard. You know what? I can lose a lane. That's fine. That's fine. Um, okay. What does this Fat King do? Okay, so basically, I just have him there for the extra defense. Uh, we're gonna do this, and then Escanarol. I'm hoping this kills. I'm actually hoping this kills. It does! There we go! First one finished! Okay. Uh, that is the first one finished. Depending on who we get next... Okay, see, not from here, they're... Ooh, that's a rare drop. That's good. Uh, you can see here that they're locked, so I cannot use these units again. Which is fine. Uh, that's why I didn't want to use Green Merlin right away, because Green Merlin can be used for the uh, blue Hendrickson fight. Okay, let's see who's next. It's in their blue unit, right? So, who is the next blue unit? Okay, for him... Okay, if I don't have... What is death? Okay, wait, let me read what it says. Bosses high penetration attacks use Valenti's passive... I don't have Valenti. With patience food. Alternatively, Lilia... I don't have Lilia as well. Only other option is full nuke with Eska. Um... I'm thinking maybe just maybe instead of like using it, I don't know. Hold on, can I get 90 CC with the uh, with the Jericho team? Uh, we're gonna want Jericho on the right. Where is Jericho? There she is. It's saying Jericho Green Halbrum. Okay, where's Green Halbrum? There is Green Halbrum. And then it says Green Death Pierce. I I guess Death Pierce is for the crit, so you can basically do a Jericho crit team. Maybe it'd be best. You know what? Let's do. Since we're trying to basically what the Valentia would do is to survive longer, maybe we better bring Julian here to increase those health stats. And in the back, um, is Blue Slater good for you? Yeah, Blue Slater would be good for the um for the red unit. So I would I would like to say Blue Slater for the red units. Um, let's see here. No. Okay. Um, is there? Okay. Wait. Who's the one? Green or Lonely? Yeah, okay, we're gonna bring Aloni here, because we're uh, for stats-wise. But with this team, okay, you have no links with anyone, so I'm just gonna do someone that uh, has high amount- Oh, oh, that's what it was. I accidentally changed the main person. Okay, uh, subslot. Cool, we're gonna do Elizabeth for you. No subslot. Gustav, and then my blue, Gulia, Gilia, and oh, red Twigo. Okay. Does it put me above 90,000? CC food? Will you put me above 90,000? Please tell me you will. Ah, oh, so close. Okay. Um, do I have enough to awaken you one more time? I don't. Because I'm out of those. Um, I'm thinking maybe the best thing to do... Because Green Helbrun will be used for a while, and I have enough. I, can I just change from here? I can't. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? Let's limit break him. Let's limit break him to 75. Because he is a very useful unit. Uh, let's go ahead and just use these to get through. Let's hope it gives me a super success. Or higher, because it's his higher chance to get those. Ultra, I'll take it. Was that enough to push me? It is. Okay. Because I want to go first. I want to be able to go first here. Let's push through. And let's see how I get this done. Hopefully he won't be too hard. What does that have to say? Okay. So what I'm thinking... Oh crap. Um, did you do Pierce? Alright, uh, then we're gonna do this. I was hoping I would draw more Jericho cards. Um, okay. I did draw some more. Okay, good, good. And I gotta help him up. 
I hey stop attacking Jericho, attack Julian actually. Why are you attacking Jericho? This is not good for me. Oh. Um this why did he only attack Jericho? Shit. Okay. What I'm thinking. We do this, and then we move this over. And just hope it doesn't go after Hellroom. Hellroom's ult won't do much. Okay, you went after Aloni. I have gotta to try to kill him. I don't think I'm about to kill him. Yeah, because he killed off my Jericho first turn. That, or not for a second turn. Um. Yeah, Helper would be stronger here. I don't think it's gonna be enough to fully kill him out, though. I mean, if I can get one more Helper buff off, which I didn't draw on a. Um. So he's just single targeting a person at a time. Yeah, I've lost this. Yeah, no, this is this is a loss. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a loss. He's gonna finish me off with his ult. Well, that sucks. Oh yeah, he's I forgot about his active, but it doesn't matter. There's another attack left. I think we're just gonna move down to another tier. Yeah, that would be best. It, it would be best if I moved down. Eh, that's kind of, that kind of sucks. But it's fine. It's fine. Okay. So, let's move down. Let's go back to, let's go to a uh, red unit. It's 60,000. Wait, okay. What CC is the level 2? 75? 80? 75,000. Okay. We're going to go back to the red level 1. I think we're just gonna jump down to level one. Uh, for you, who are you? You're actually not on here. Okay, so he's not on here. Um, so he's a red unit. So blue units be good for him. Uh, I think I'll bring blue Slater, and then I'm gonna bring blue. No, actually, I want to bring lower tier units. Uh, what's Blue Arthur do? Okay, we'll bring in Blue Arthur. Um, who's the blue booster unit, actually? I actually don't know who the blue booster unit is. Is it you? It is you. Okay, so we're going to Marmos here. And in the back... Wait, can I reach the CC without Pinsor in the back? See, it could hurt me if I do this. But at the same time, uh, we're gonna bring level eight to go there, and then put you there. I need to reach that CC. Okay. Um. Oh wait, if you lose, your units come back to you. Okay. See, I didn't know that. So I was going off of um, if I lose, I still get those units. But since I lost, I get them back. That changes things. But I'm gonna depend on Blue Slater to kill him. Uh, see, it's a tough choice. I think what I'm gonna do is bring a, another Blue unit. Oh wait, Gothers are in team, so we're just gonna bring Blue Dian. Blue Dian's who we're gonna bring, and then we'll put a uh, Green War here. I think this would be the best choice here. Oh, this is gonna be a long video. I'm gonna fluctuate between level 3, level 2, and level 1. But I don't think I'm going back to level 3 though, because... Hmm, I could try to fight him again, but at the same time... He likes... if he targeted my Jericho again like that without me getting a Jericho ult, I don't think it would end well. Uh, of course, I'm gonna go straight... okay, wait. Marmos decreases defense. What do you do? Okay... Detonate. So I'm gonna do this and induce two Slater cards. Uh, we're gonna decrease his defense by 30%, and then just do a bunch of Slater cards. My Slater's not too built up, 
But he's built up enough for this, so that's what matters. I want a Slater ult. So I think what I'm gonna do... Because he's tagging blue... Uh, blue Arthur. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this over. Attack with it. And then... Um, you know what? Let's uh, let's do this. Let's move this over here. Yeah, and then I got a Blue Slater ult, which I actually think Blue Slater's ult will kill because he's maxed. I'll be surprised if it doesn't kill actually. That'd be nice if he didn't kill Blue Arthur, because okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this, and then we're just gonna move Arthur's cards over. That should kill, right? Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. We're on to the next one. Um, most people, when they're going in here, they're not going to be able to do a lot of the level 3s. Because level 3 is... 90,000 CC, and since it doesn't take in equipment stats... It... It doesn't end well for a lot of people because it doesn't take equipment stats, so most people aren't like fully built up unless you're whales, or you're a free-to-play it has been grinding every single day, auto-grinding everything, and is getting fully prepared for this. Um, we actually haven't faced a green unit yet, have we? Let's go, uh, actually, can I, uh, level 2 green. Let's go to a level 2 green. Yeah, it was the dragon. Is a dragon on here? No, it's not on my guide. But he is green. So red units are strong. Um, I do want to bring red Arthur. I'm thinking maybe... No, wait, we weren't feeling like someone that's like humans. Red Slater would actually probably be good here, actually. And then, who is the... I know you are the human booster. And my toy goes built up. <laughs> I made sure of that. Uh, do I have the... Um... Who is it? That Yeah, this guy. Uh, Jericho, Red Jericho. Um, let's put Merlin here. I have Jericho on the back, so I'd put like, yeah, let's put a Loney. My Loney's not built up, which is fine. And then we'll put Bon Gilia because of the 10% uh, extra stats. And then I think what I'm gonna do, because I wanna ult rush. Yeah, I'm gonna ult rush, so we're gonna eat some uh, ultimate gauge food. And let's get started, let's complete the level two. I will say, training dungeons where you get hammers and you, where you get you are gear stones. The higher levels you do, the course, the more rewards you get. So you would benefit more from awaking up your box because you get it for training dungeon, and you get that health bonus from doing a count CC. So working on your box would be actually really good for most people. Um, I think we're gonna do this. Um. See, I want to ult rush with Arthur, so what we're going to do is do this. Decrease his attack related stats, and then we're going to attack with Arthur. Do just Yeah. Decrease recovery. Oh, I didn't draw any Arthur buffs, which is what I wanted. Um, we're going to hope that I do it next turn. Will I be able to... Okay, I think we're just going to do this. And then Twiggo's, or Twiggo's uh, single targets. Because my Twiggo is built up. Yeah, he's going to hit pretty hard. Which is good. Uh, Arthur, come on. Oh, I didn't draw some Arthur buff. That's fine. Um, I think I was going to buff Arthur with a single target. Hit the ult. And then we're just going to hit with another um, Twiggo card to get Twiggo ult as well. He seems to be targeting Red Slater. Okay, this actually is going to kill. There we go. Okay, that's the third? Yeah, third battle done, I think? Oh, I love Twiggo. Twiggo is an amazing character. It is. So now I got those uh, two hammers in there. Okay. And hmm. should I do blue or red? Let's do blue 
because of my green units I still have. Yeah, I think we're gonna do blue, because I can hit that 75,000. Um, is he on here? No, he's not. I think this only shows like level 3 enemies, which is fine. Okay, so we're gonna go green team. Um, I think we're gonna go Julian. I think we we'll go Julian, I'll only, we'll go Jericho again. You know what, no, hold on, I think what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna go back to targeting this guy and see if we can target him. Let's see if he, because if he doesn't attack Jericho, I'll be good. And I think what we're gonna do is eat alt food. No, I had to eat CC food. That's right, I gotta eat CC food if I wanna get above that uh, a little bit. So what I want to do is that I want to be able to get a Jericho ult. I need, I need to draw extra Jericho cards. So I hope I draw an extra Jericho card. I did. That's good. Um, okay, so we're going to move this over here. This, and then we're going to hit him again. Hopefully he does not target Jericho. I am hoping he targets Julian. Julian would be the ultimate outcome for him to target someone. So he's just gonna target Jericho every time? Why? Like, why is- why are you doing this? Yeah, we can't do it without Jericho. That's the thing. I'm gonna go in one more time. And see if he'll target Jericho again, because I'm hoping he won't. Okay, let's try one more time. Um, CC food. Let's let's hope he doesn't target Jericho again. Okay. If he does, I'll move down to level two, and I won't I won't go after level three again. I'm just wondering why he's targeting Jericho. What's his targeting method? Like, why is he? Okay, let's see here. Um, he's immune to stun, but try skill still. It doesn't say he like, specifically targets people if he does. I guess we're just gonna attack. Um, hopefully you don't target Jericho? Come on, don't target Jericho. Yeah, that, that sucks. That really does suck. Okay. Well, we're gonna go down to level 2. We're not gonna complete level 3 then. Yeah, we're gonna have to move on. Uh, let's just go back to level 2. We'll do that same exact team, but in level 2. Okay. So, um, we're just put Jericho on the left, actually. Jericho and then her association is not you, but you. Because I have you built up. And then we want green units. Um. We'll put Al Alion is gonna go in the back. And we'll put we'll wait for help. Well actually, we got other good green units. And then Julian, wherever Julian is. There she is. Oh wait, oops. Well that happened. Uh I forgot to select the other one. Where is Yeah, there he is. Aloni. And then association units, no association. Our max level Elizabeth, and then we put Kustoff here, and then we put Twigo. Uh, we're going to eat old gauge food, and we're now above the CC because we were already above CC because this is a 2000 CC team. Oh, we should be fine here. Yeah, we should have clear this out easy. I was hoping I draw some extra Jericho cards. I did, actually. What I think I'm gonna do is take it. Mm, yeah, we're gonna do this. Have this happen, and then. Because now we got Jericho soul. Which is a good thing. Uh, he has low crit resistance, which is also good. We're gonna use Fairy Wind, and then we're gonna Jericho ult.
Okay. Uh, Fairy Wind. Jerkult, and then we'll move Hellbrim's cards over. Uh, do you want to just take him down? Cool, nice. Oh, move it on. Okay. Those units are now gone. That was the fourth battle that I've won, because <laughs> I went back towards the level three try to beat him. Uh, let's see here. It's green. That's no, red. Okay. Uh, let's see which one's in the sky. Who's there? Sure. Let's uh, let's do this guy. So he's red, so we want to bring blue units. Where? Hmm. You know what? Let's bring um. Uh... I want to save King, but let's bring. Okay, we're gonna bring Remu. I didn't unlock Meliodas. Oh. Yay! Uh, that's fine. Blue Meliodas. Um, don't didn't I unlock blue? Where is he at? Can I filter? I can't filter this. Okay, we're gonna fill this only blue units. I have Gallon, but I want to save Gallon because Gallon's a good unit. He's also like, these guys are good units. Uh, we're bringing Weinhart, and then we're bringing. Plays in during battle. I think what we're gonna do is bring Hauser in the back. Of course, Dan for you. Oh well. Uh... Oh wait, I have it still filtered out. Ah, uh, where is she? There she is. And then for you, your associated units are gonna be Julian. And then for Hauser, uh, we're just gonna be Grimoire because Grimoire's built up. Does that put me above? It it barely doesn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're still just okay. Um, is there something I could do to bring that up just a little bit? Would no Guild Thunder wouldn't be better. Uh, would she be better? No, it's still Grey Moor, still better. Okay, that sucks. Um, well, instead of I guess old food, we'll do. Do I have health food? I don't. But I uh, let's read some. I probably do have health food. I just didn't see it. Let me just go through and check. Okay, we're just gonna bring defense food. It puts us above it and it gives us extra defense, which is good. My goal is to basically do the same thing I did with other units, but with Remyu this time. Okay. Um. So what I'm gonna do is this. This is what we're gonna do. Yeah, he doesn't do that much. Uh, we're gonna do the counter. Can I? I did this. I wanted to draw this. Yeah, it's just a little bit of damage. Which is fine. Uh, don't attack a third time? Thank you. I think we're actually going to do this, because it heals the health that he uh, hits me with. And... We'll do this. Ah, oh, Meliodas died. Okay. Oh, I should heal a lot of that health back. I did. I'm hoping he does not attack Remyo. That would be a good thing if he didn't attack Remyo. Uh, you wanna attack Hauser? Oh, don't die. Okay. If I lose, I can always go back in. Maybe I'll get better RNG. I guess we'll do this. 
it's not gonna do too much. Oh, it did. I might actually win. Um. Yeah, he's going after Weinhardt. Weinhardt's dead. Hauser cannot finish the job. This is a uh, this is a forfeit. Okay, uh, let's go back in. You know what? Let's look at the other guy. Nah, we're gonna go with this one. <laughs> yeah, bigger looking enemies uh, mean looking like stronger enemies. Can I? I bet you if I unlock his pass, though, I'll be above the 75k. Let's uh, let's put some equipment on him. Specifically, Askinor's equipment. So I'll pass her fast, I'll be right back. Okay guys, yes, it did actually unlock his pass to put us above 75,000. So now we're gonna do ult food to try to ult rush and uh, finish him off. Okay, let's hope this goes better. Walker Warrior. Okay, um, did I get a job from you? Uh, yes I did. Cool, okay. So we're gonna do... We're gonna get rush. We're taunting him, which is a good thing because it also uh, lets us heal the health that we take. And we're gonna heal a bunch of the health back, which is a good thing. Um, so what I'm gonna do, any, any of you, you don't. So I think I'm gonna do this, and then I'm going to do a full counter. Oh, he's stunned. Does his passive remove that stun, or no? He's actually stunned, okay. I think we're going for Weinhardt as well. He's able to attack so slowly has his ult. Okay, he killed Meliodas. So what we're gonna do is do this, have Remy attack, and then Weinhardt attack as well. Come on. Uh, Sansa Sable, Weinhardt has his ult now? I didn't draw a single Remu card. Ooh, that hurt, but I got a lot. I'm gonna get a big chunk of that health back. Okay, let's hope that all of these will kill him. Hopefully. I did not know that Hauser actually took his defense really stats. Oh, so close. I should be able to win though. Even if he attacks like Rimyu and kills Rimyu, I should be able to win. Okay, that's a, that's a win. There we go, moving on. And now we're on, that was the 5th battle, so now we're on to the 6th battle. Let's see if we finish the 6th one. I want to get to the phantom battles. Oh, there's another level 3 here. Um, let me look at you. Oh wait, it's an illusion amber. Okay. Can I see what team it is? So it's the first team I brought in. Um, it's an all green team, isn't it? That means an all red team will be best here. I am going to bring Mun some of my strongest units. Hmm. Because defeating the uh, Illusion Amber, it gives you yeah, it gives you a high chance to get it gives you anvils, hammers. And of course, when you clear it, it gives you those engraving stones. I want to clear it because I want to get those engraving stones. Hmm. 
if you lose, you get your units back. So what I'm thinking is we're actually going to use my top grade heroes here. This might be a stupid idea. But... I'm going to go for it. Uh, we're gonna put- we're gonna have Merlin in the back to give us old gauge. Uh, Slater, because Slater's our best bet for you. And then where is my Merlin? Hello Merlin. And then Red Arthur, okay. Oh yeah, that gives us enough. And we're gonna eat gold gauge food. Because I want those UR gear stones. I do want them. Uh, I'm not going to UR gear anyone right now because none of the units that can be UR geared, I want to UR gear. I'm going to wait till someone like Meliodas, Merlin, Escanor, uh, Elizabeth, uh, one of them. Okay. This is probably a really stupid idea for me to do this. But it's fine. Um. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to Corrosion. I think we're just gonna rank up King. Cause he still does a lot of damage. And of course, Corrosion is really good. And uh, King has a heal and he has a special fight, but also a weak point. Uh, I need to take down the Escanor. Oof. Ah, freeze. Yeah, the Escanor needs to go. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is actually move you over and attack still everyone. Cool, Eskner's dead. That's a good thing. And we're going to attack still the other two. I have Gothas ult, which is a good th uh, game. <laughs> yeah, I had Fat King in the back. Um, I guess what we're going to do... Uh, we'll Corrosion again, and then we'll just rank up everything. Oh yeah, no, I should've, uh... That's a win. Okay, that was a very easy win. Maybe bringing my best team was not the best bet here. <laughs> I probably could get by with the uh, Mono Red team. Because if I leave, my units don't get taken out. I'm thinking about it. I think I think the best bet is just to continue on. Just just continue on. Just finish out this battle. I was thinking it's gonna be hard because I did bring some really good hands for that. So th this is fine. Though I'm probably gonna suffer for it. I did get a hammer, I did get in uh, UR stones, which is really good. Because you need 10 UR stones to get an SSR, one SSR equipment to a uh, UR. So. Oh, it doesn't count towards these? Oh, it doesn't. Um, I think we're gonna go look at the blue. Who is it? Uh, I think I'm actually gonna go back to level 1s, because I'm starting to get down to where I have low level units. So it'd be better if I went down to the 60,000 one. Who would you put if I auto set it? Yeah, you're blue. I don't agree with this team. Nah, we're just gonna remove everyone. I think what we can do is remove you. Uh, get rid of green water. Uh, let's go back to green units and see who I have. I have Gil Thunder. I have King, but I'm gonna. You know what? Let's use King here. Because we're gonna for heals, we're gonna use Gil Thunder. And then. Um. Eh, we'll, we'll use. We'll use Green Gother. And then for association units, we're just gonna bring. Not you, because for your room, you, we wanna bring Pelosa Elizabeth. Uh, you, I want Gilia on. Or actually. Green War would be better here. Fighter Deanne. And then if you use Slater. Let's use ult food. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna ult rush with a uh, King. 
Green King would be the best person to ult rush here. We actually could have moved to the level 2 if we wanted to, but we're not going to. We're going to stick to level 1s. Okay. So... I'm hoping I, I did. Okay, cool. Um... We're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do the uh, King Cards, just to get his ult. This is gonna hit him pretty hard, because he's critting, so... And I hope I draw a Gil Thunder. I didn't. That's fine. Oh, you're after uh, Rumiyu. That is 100% fine, actually. Um, let's do this, and then... I'll just do this. He should die from King's ult though. Even if King's only like level 1 ult, he should die from- Oh, he didn't. That's surprising. Uh, if he kills Rumio, which he does. Yeah, I just want to get rid of the Rumio cards, it's fine. Give me some King cards. King... I drew a King card. Um... What does Gother do exactly? Okay. What I'm thinking is we're just gonna do this. Yeah, he, uh, he's dead. Okay, move on to the next battle. Skip, skip, skip. Yeah, yeah, I killed Thunder. You won. Ooh! Hey, the more hammers the better. Helps out my SSR gear. Uh, helps out my Escanor gear, actually, because he's the one that's gonna go towards right now. Um... Let's not do the green, so we can use the red team. Yeah, because we have three more battles here, and we got two more other battles. Um, I want to use the red here, so... Let's do this. Let's build a mono red team. Uh, let's actually bring Alihawk, Benny Mario, then we'll put no we'll put Grimoire up front because of shield, actually. Now I'm thinking about it. Grimoire can go up front. And then I'll be right back. I'm gonna unlock that passive. Never mind, I'll not, because her passive only works in deathmatch. So on the back. I guess I'll just put Taizo. And of course, uh, we're going to open these back up. Grimmy will be best here. Uh, Grimmers are being used. So, Guild Thunder for you. Hauser for you. And then for you, I don't have anyone I can use, I guess. So, uh, Gilia, because of 10% increase in stats. I didn't use all food. I should have used all food, but I didn't. <sighs> okay. Oh, it's a bird. Whirlwind Owl. Ah, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, um... So what I'm thinking is actually, we'll do this. Increase defense related stats, and then because he is a weak point attack. Um. So, what I'm gonna. He's attacking Nelly Hawk. Uh, don't do a third attack? Cool. So, what I think I'm gonna do is just do this, actually. His attack as defense as are still decreased. Cool. It's halfway down. He's gonna kill Ellie Hawk, but that's fine. Um, you wanna attack Grimoire? Yeah, target Grimoire. Hmm. So we're gonna do this. Actually, hold on. Are you weak point? You're not, so we're gonna do this. Have this happen, and then use his weak point. Uh, yeah, I've won. Because that should kill. It does. Coolio. 
on to the next one. Yeah, if you just spread your units out, this isn't that bad. Uh, we're on to the 8th battle? 8th battle, yeah. Okay. I wonder what I'm gonna face the next, uh... Of this. Uh, wait, so I have to wait for this to fill up the face in our illusion. Okay, so I have to wait, basically. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we're just gonna continue doing level 1s. Sure. It's a red unit, so I need to bring blue units. So uh, let's go back to blue. And I only really only have like one option here of a, like a big team to use. So I guess we're gonna use that big team. It's all we really have for blue units, which is fine. Um, let's see, you do this. Uh, yeah, I'll just do that. And then for you, we're going to be using Rio more because of the stats boost. Uh, for you, I'll use Hauser. And of course, I'm going to use King for Gother. And then we're going to do Oak Gage because I want to rush with Galen. Galen's going to be my main attacker here. Uh, others aren't really my main attacker. Oh, wait. Well, it's, oh, yeah, I'll use a Stamina. Go ahead and use Stamina Potion. Oh, we're almost done, actually. This one and one more and we'll be done. I just now looked at the record time. 50 minutes so far. I'm only gonna cut out a small part though, because I'm showing the whole thing. Um... I actually don't know what Gilia do. Gilia does, so let's check. Uh, removes D.Va from allies. That's actually pretty good. And she ignites. That's also pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Do this with Gallon. I sort of give him a buff so that his second attack gets you some good damage. Um, I'm hoping they focus on Gilia or not Gallon. So, what I'm going to do is ignite, move Gallon's card over, and attack with Gallon. So it gives it extra ignite, it gives me Gallon's ult, and that's what we wanted. So we're gonna Gallon to use level 2, and then we're gonna attack with Ellie Hawk. Yeah, this will be the best move here. Oh, we actually got everyone else's ult as well. Uh, but I think this is actually me. This may actually kill. Yeah, it did. Oh, we're on to our last battle, finally. Cool. Um, doing all level 3s would be actually be really hard, actually. Because... Another hammer, that's actually pretty good. I've had good luck in hammers. What? Can I see the heroes I remaining in here? I can't, can I? Okay. Yeah, let's go to the green one, because I think I I, should, I have a good mono red team. I should still have. What do you? Who do you set? Let me see. Actually, you got close to the mono red team I was wanting to use. Uh, let's go vampire Elizabeth back here. And the front, where's? Did I use Arthur? Hold on. Uh, red only. I already did use Arthur. Okay, um, instead of Bond though, we're gonna go with Hellbrom. I think that would be best actually. And of course, we're gonna go Old Cage Food. Uh, let's get started. This is a really strong team actually. It's a little bad. Okay. Well, it's a giant cave, but it's still a little fat. Um, I don't know. Can you be petrified? I should have looked at that. You can be petrified, so... I can't petrify right now, but I will be able to. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, 
Uh, Meliodas will kill. He's gonna kill his ult. And just in case he doesn't, I'm gonna use a Hellburn Deplete ult gauge at the end. Uh, we're gonna do this, and then a Hellburn Deplete ult gauge. This should finish him off though, because he's a night effects and we can point damage. Plus crit. Yeah, Red Melios is pretty good. <laughs> we got another hammer, nice, and we got this fight finish right there. Nice, okay. So that's all nine battles finished for the week. Yep. Uh, the training cave should open back up in five days. It, it just it reopens every five days, so that's a good thing. I will say, though, if you do not do it within those five days that you have it, you will not get an extra charge. That charge will go away and it'll just recharge. That's what it's going to do. So you'll miss your extra chance of doing a training cave for the week. Well, that's all I want to do is want to just the training cave video me going through it for the first time. I'm going to have to level up and rank up more units, which I have the money to do, so it'll be fine. I just got to grind out a few, a few more free stages. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.